and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says evaluate the following integral of log 1 plus cos x from 0 to pi. Let's now begin with the solution. Let i is equal to integral of log 1 plus cos x from 0 to pi. We know that 1 plus cos theta is equal to 2 cos square theta by 2. So using this formula, we get this integral as log 2 cos square x by 2. Lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi. Now let fx is equal to log 2 into cos x by 2 whole square. Now f pi minus x is equal to log 2 cos pi minus x by 2 whole square. We know that cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta. So this is equal to log 2 minus cos x by 2 whole square. This is equal to log 2 cos square x by 2. And this is equal to fx. By using property of definite integrals which says integral of fx from 0 to 2a is equal to 2 times integral of fx from 0 to a if f2a minus x is equal to fx and it is equal to 0 if f2a minus x is equal to minus fx. We get I as integral of log 2 cos square x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2 into 2. Here a is equal to, sorry, 2a is equal to pi. So a is equal to pi by 2. Now, by using the property of definite integrals which says integral of fx from 0 to a is equal to integral of fa minus x from 0 to a, we get i as integral of log 2 cos square pi by 2 minus x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2 into 2. This is equal to 2 into integral of log 2 sin square x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Let's name this equation as equation number 1 and this as 2. Now on adding 1 and 2, we get i plus i equals to 2 into integral of log 2 cos square 
x pi 2 from 0 to pi by 2 plus 2 into integral of log 2 sine square x pi 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Now this implies 2i is equal to 2 into integral of log 2 cos square x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2 plus integral of log 2 sine square x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2 we know that log x plus log y is equal to log x y by using this we get 2 into integral of log 2 cos square x by 2 into 2 sin square x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Now this is equal to 2 into integral of log 4 sin square x by 2 cos square x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Now this is equal to 2 into integral of log 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 whole square from 0 to pi by 2. This is equal to 2 into integral of log sin x whole square from 0 to pi by 2. And this is equal to 2 into integral of 2 log sin x since log a to the power m is equal to m log a. So we get integral of 2 log sin x from 0 to pi by 2. So 2i is equal to 2 into integral of 0 sorry 2 log sin x from 0 to pi by 2. Now this implies i is equal to 2 into integral of log sin x from 0 to pi by 2 into 2. We know that integral of fx from 0 to a is equal to integral of fa minus x from 0 to a. By using this property, we get i as 2 into integral of log sine pi by 2 minus x from 0 to pi by 2. This is equal to 2 into integral of log cos x from 0 to pi by 2. Let's name this equation as equation number 3 and this as 4. Now, on adding 3 and 4, we get i plus i equals to 2 into integral of log sine x from 0 to pi by 2 plus 2 into integral of log cos x from 0 to pi by 2. 
this is equal to 2 into integral of log sin x cos x from 0 to pi by 2. So i is equal to 2 into integral of log sin x cos x from 0 to pi by 2. Now this implies i is equal to integral of log sin x cos x from 0 to pi by 2. Now multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. This is equal to integral of log 2 sin x cos x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2. This is equal to integral of log sin 2 x by 2 from 0 to pi by 2, we know that log x pi y is equal to log x minus y. So by using this, we get integral of log sine 2 x minus log 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Now let 2x is equal to t. On differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get dt by dx as 2. Now this implies dx is equal to 1 by 2 into dt. Now when x is equal to pi by 2, then t is equal to pi. And when x is equal to 0, then t is also equal to 0. So now we are going to substitute t in place of 2x and 1 by 2 dt in place of dx in this integral. So now we have... One by two into integral of log sine t minus log two dt from zero to pi. Let dt is equal to log sine t minus log two. Now g pi minus t is equal to log sine pi minus t minus log 2. We know that sine pi minus theta is sine theta. So this is equal to log sine t minus log 2. And this is equal to gt. Using property of definite integrals, it says integral of fx from 0 to 2a is equal to 2 times integral of fx from 0 to a if f of 2a minus x is equal to fx and this is equal to 0 if f of 2a minus x is equal to minus fx we get i as 2 by 2 into integral of log sine t minus log 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Now this is equal to integral of log sine t 
minus log 2 from 0 to pi by 2. In the variable, t by x, we get i as integral of log sin x minus log 2 from 0 to pi by 2. From 3, we know that i is equal to 2 into integral of log sin x from 0 to pi by 2. So now we have 2 into integral of log sin x from 0 to pi by 2 equals to integral of log sin x minus log 2 from 0 to pi by 2. Now this implies integral of log sin x from 0 to pi by 2 is equal to minus log 2 into integral of 1 from 0 to pi by 2. 3 we know that i is equal to 2 into integral of log sin x from 0 to pi by 2. Now here we have integral of log sin x from 0 to pi by 2. So this means i by 2 is equal to minus log 2 into integral of 1 from 0 to pi by 2. Now this implies i is equal to minus 2 log 2 into integral of 1 from 0 to pi by 2. This is equal to minus 2x log 2 where the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi by 2. Now substitute the value of upper limit. So we have minus 2 pi by 2 log 2 minus minus 2 into 0 into log 2. Now this is equal to pi log 2. That minus sign. Hence our required answer is minus pi log 2. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.